you see Marvel films fail at the box office. The CEO suggests they've cheapened the brand. And let's be honest, you probably started skipping shows entirely. Now, get ready for a series that proves if it's not time to scrap the whole thing, Disney should at least pause until their next batch of Chris is ready. <laughs> Secret Invasion. Ew, are those AI-generated titles? Gross. Nick Fury is back from Spacecation, and everyone agrees that he sucks now. The one with power, the one with ability, that Fury's gone. He's traumatized. Oh my God. And really effing old. He's washed up, walks with a limp, can barely see out the good eye. The fact that you don't know tells me all I need to know about this new, rather old Nick Fury. Why don't you hobble your ancient ass on out of here before I have you defenestrated? In the latest sequel that thinks audiences want to see their heroes as pathetic, washed-up sad sacks. You want to get soup? Let's get soup. After the events of Captain Marvel, a movie you totally remember the events of, right? Right? The aliens who look like Piccolo's left nut are still stranded on Earth. Fury has phoned in, finding them a new planet. I knew within a few years of searching that there was no other planet out there for you. <clears throat> and he won't even carve out a chunk of Norway to crash on. Now, scrolls have infiltrated our society to find a long-term home. In the second Marvel show about how refugees are secretly terrorists. One world. One, one people. people. One world. One people. Home in my own skin. Home in my own skin. Uh-oh. The villains are in the right again. Quick, do the thing. There were still people in there. This is the only language these people understand. That's better. Deep state good. Strap in for a spy thriller made entirely out of spy thriller cliches, where everyone has to be stupid for the plot to work. Last I checked, Rhodey is a scroll. What? And even the scroll stick with one face to cut down on production costs. Not gonna try a white guy for a Russian soldier, okay? As Fury and friends will do anything they can to stop World War III without calling the Avengers. We can't keep depending on these superheroes to swoop in and save our asses. Because then he'd have to admit he's been scraping all their goo into a cup and hiding in his grave. Imagine looking Cap in the eye and telling him you scraped his goo. The shame you'd feel. Strap in for a show that's about more than two old guys yelling about off-screen promises they broke. Well, not entirely. Have you lost your reptilian-ass mind? Hey, what would you have done? This ain't about me, because you were gone. Who was it? You got any more abuse you want to hurl my way? I'm going for a walk. It's also about Amelia Clark, who co-stars as Gaia, because she can't turn down the chance to learn another made-up language. When New York, well. She's a scroll terrorist until a couple days before the finale, where she gets almost every power in the MCU. No way that's gonna bite us in the ass later. Or, uh, look cool on camera. Also joining the fight is British spymaster Sonia Fallsworth. Olivia Coleman summons Hulk-like strength to carry the series on her back, armed with the one comedy bit of saying mean things in a friendly way. I'm very good at being your bestie. I'm also devilishly good at being not your bestie. Hmm. Well, now that's confirmed. Let's party, shall we? If they're not busy gaslighting you, they're threatening you with murder. That's what all the podcasts are about. She's cheeky. Yeah. And old favorites return, like Office Tim, who's been a scroll since who gives a shit? Maria Hill, who's bravely sacrificed to give her boss a little extra pizzazz. Sharon Carter, who, no, she's not a scroll, so she just randomly turned into an arms dealer. Okay. And Colonel Rhodes, who's revealed to have been a scroll since at least the death of Tony Stark, and maybe even earlier. Honestly, they've been hinting that he's a shapeshifter since day one. So gently massage your temples for a spy thriller without any tension about a hero who thinks humans are full of hate. There's not enough room or tolerance on this planet for another species. Plunges Earth into a race war. Now you got dumbass vigilantes killing innocent humans too. Then dips back into space with one of the good ones while we're left to pick up the pieces. Because it turns out, Nick Fury always has his eye on the bigger picture. When can he get his next drink? 
Bad shots. Mr. Obia. I'm pretty sure you recollect my drink of choice is bourbon. But bon, piva miliardina, just a few, my bruise, yeah. How about a drink instead? I wouldn't say no. I wanted to share my favorite liquid lunch with you. Happy Van Winkle. Mmm. 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 This is a tasty bourbon. Starring Mace Winded, Game of Clones, Devil in a Blue Suit, Kingsley Bid Adieu. No, no, I'm, I, I'm undercover. Shouldn't this be Julie Louis Dreyfus? Spy Wife! How I Met My Maker. And most MCU fans at this point. I was told this phase would be over. Invasion of the Body Matchers. So cool how Fury keeps the Avengers goo hidden in his grave, and his coat in another grave, and his eye patch in another grave, and his gun in another grave? Feels like that's too many graves for just one outfit. Oh, I got these all over the place. You know, dead men need options. Thanks for watching, and if you've made it this far, why not keep the party going with our musical guide to all the best that guy character actors. Click the thumbnail on the right to watch now. I know you are, but what am I? I feel like a little boy who's lost his first tooth, put on his pillow, waiting for the tooth fairy to come. Only two evil burglars have crept into my window, snatched it, before she could get here. Wait a second, do you understand the concept of the tooth fairy? 